What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to spend a couple minutes talking about how you can install add-ins in Microsoft Excel. To do this, go to the Home tab and go over to the right where you will see add-ins. From here, you're going to click on More Add-ins to see all of the add-ins that are available for Excel. Now, some of these add-ins are made up by Microsoft and a lot of them are made by external parties. You can search by different categories that will help you narrow down to what you're working on, whether it be education, financial management, maps and feeds, and so on and so forth. And by default, it sorts by popularity, but you can also sort by rating, name, as well as release date. And some of the add-ins are free, other ones you have to pay for, but they will all hopefully help make your life a little bit easier depending on what you're trying to work on. Um, a couple ones that I like personally, I like symbols and characters because it can help you find characters much easier and it's free. And mini calendar date picker, which it just it gives us a small calendar that you can use to select different dates. But as you can see, there's a wide variety of where, where draw by draw IO diagrams, Jira Cloud for Excel, just a wide variety of items available. And once you find one that you like, so just say I wanted to go through and I wanted to get the Wikipedia one, for example. I click on add and it will say license of privacy by clicking on you know, kind of like a disclosure right here. Click on to continue and the add-in will pop up now. To actually use one of the add-ins that you have, you can go to add-ins, click on my add-ins and click on see all. And then from here, you can click on one of the add-ins that you have installed. Wikipedia, for example. So I said, I hope you found this short tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.